It's very important that as a filmmaker, making commercials, telling stories for brands, that you put yourself in a box. Now that's counterintuitive to being a filmmaker that wants to do a romantic comedy and then a broad comedy and then an action film. You know, variety can be the kiss of death to a commercial director. Now, what do I mean by putting yourself in a box? It means make yourself easy to sell. You've got a production company or a sales rep that can point to your work and say, this is the kind of work that she does. It's lifestyle. It's docu-style. It's uh, storytelling with a smile. You can Google different production companies, click on a director, and you'll read different descriptions of that director, what kind of work she does. So the point is you want to be known as a specialist in a certain variety of work. Now here's the big trick. You don't have to be in one box. Different people around the country can know you for different things. So I'm known for doing comedy and cars, specifically with spokespeople. Katherine Hahn, Goldberg the Wrestler. These are people, uh, Keegan-Michael Key, he's a spokesperson talking to the camera and they call me for that specifically. There's another group of people that know me for doing anthropomorphized characters. Am I saying that right? I did a commercial for Finding Nemo cereal with a teen shark that ate cereal with a spoon in his fin, and it was kind of a puppet with like a CGI. This is like years ago for a Kellogg cereal. Years later, that creative Jeff Abbott, uh, he called me up, he goes, Jordan, I've got a, a talking bear and a talking bull. Uh, they're day traders walking around the office. And I thought, who better to bring that to life than you? You're the specialist at doing half human animal characters. What a weird box to be in. So where do you want to eat? I could go for a steak. Really, Marty? Really? Now, both those spots, the shark and the bull and the bear, uh, a collection of spots made it to my reel for specific audiences. And recently I did Black Bear Diner where we had a black bear as one of the waiters. And they're like, oh, you're a specialist, not only with anthropomorphized characters, but you've done a lot of bears. And then they saw Oh So Delicious uh, hot sauce commercials that I did and with my sons and they're like, oh, you've actually worked with people in bear suits a few times. Now that's not the box that I go out to the world uh, with and say, this is what I do, but it's good for my reel. It was a great relationship and there was a lot of revenue, the three R's for being like a, a guy that directs people in suits. The great thing is you don't have to be in just one box. I remember telling my New York reps who handle all the East Coast sales for directors, like they're, they're my pimp. Um, I said, I'm a kid's director now. I just made it up because I wasn't getting enough work uh, directing comedy dialogue. And they said, what? And I said, yeah, look at these five spots. And I have five spots and said, just show these spots. And I got work for uh, y, with why it was what called Y and R back then. Now it's VML Y and R, but it was with Goldfish Crackers, and I did a run of those. And I did Dananino yogurt for Dan and yogurt, all because I was a kid specialist to that group of people. Other people know me as fast and funny. If they have five spots they want to do in a day and it's comedy dialogue, they know that I can cut to the chase with these comedy actors. I'm great at casting and I will go after those jobs and I will be selected for those jobs. Totally different box than doing, you know, yogurt push-up pops on the East Coast market. So 
I actually think in 2020, you have to be in several boxes just to survive. Okay. If, I had, if I had to give any advice, or, well, that's what I'm doing, I'm giving advice. The one thing that I wish I was, was a director DP. Because I think moving forward with the proliferation of tools available, the commercial director that can shoot and direct is going to be very valuable. 